Breaking the Wall of Space and Time in Archaeology. Qualified in the Cairo Lab, Salma Al Dardiri, describing Egypt. Hello, I'm going to start with a little bit of a sad fact. In Egypt, there is approximately 1,100 archaeological sites, 300 of which has been severely compromised over the past two decades due to natural and artificial disasters. And this is where we needed to step in. We saw two main problems that we can solve. The first is us as humans are gradually losing the chance to study our heritage. And by heritage, I mean our entire human history, not just ancient Egyptian. And the second problem is that for archaeologists and scholars, there is no immersive visual archive that can, they can study closely these locations. Our solution? We created Describing Egypt. Using fully immersive 360 panoramic photography, we covered entire locations in 360 in Egypt and make it available through our website and if you have a smartphone and a cheap cardboard app, uh, device, <laughs> you can get to the full VR experience. Our main purpose is to document and educate and preserve. By documenting these locations in a digital format that virtually cannot be lost because it can be copied, backed up, and archived. And we are educating the people about this in a format that they can access any time of the day, breaking the barriers of time and geographical locations. And it's hard to visit the Middle East these days. <laughs> and finally, and most importantly, we are helping to preserve these locations because some of it suffered really bad problems that they cannot handle more physical visits. So we, we are introducing an alternative way to view these locations and don't deny any, anyone to view it. There are multiple applications that we can use this archive, from tourism to museums to planetariums. And we can most importantly do is making this archive available as an open source for future generations to build upon. We may be now describing Egypt, but eventually we want to describe the entire world. Thank you. Question here in the front. How about uh, copyright ownership and financing? We go and photograph these things ourselves. So we own the copyrights, but we are happily to provide it as a public domain or a creative common license for institutions. Question here in the front. Does your technology do any damage to what you photograph? No, we don't use flashlights, which is more damaging to the monuments, but we only use an SLR camera and some pretty small gadgets. So we only visit the locations, take the photographs, and leave. <laughs> That's it. Final comments, final question. Five seconds left. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you.